Hello everyone, Jose Rodriguez here. Just recently I read several reports on some errors that people are getting on Epson printers, such as the Pro 3800, 3880, R2000, P800, and so forth, especially in the larger format printers. And basically this is the problem. They are trying to print to a specific size paper, say for instance, A3 or 13 by 19 and they prepare an image that actually fits within that 13 by 19 paper space be it so that they have a nice half inch border all around and so when they go to print it it comes out as an 8 by 10 printed off corner maybe up in the upper right corner or upper left corner and they are just at a loss of what possibly could be going on and I think I have the answer let's go ahead and open up several of these drivers and I'll show you what I believe is going on here. Let's go ahead and open the 3880 or the 3800 for, for now. And here we go. We'll put this on top here and I'll go ahead and minimize that. Now, let's go ahead and pick a Super B. This is 13 by 19. It's in metric measurements, but this is a 13 by 19, believe me. All right. so. And I print to it and I get a 13 by 19 piece of paper coming out. That's what I loaded. But my image that I thought was going to be fitted so that I had a half inch border all the way around actually comes out looking more like an 8 by 10 in one of the corners. Here's what's going on. Let's go to page layout. You have to make sure that on this tab, which is the one that most no one goes to, you have this set properly. Notice it says Super A3. That is our 13 by 19 inch paper size that we are loading onto the printer. And here is the output paper. So it is expecting that the output paper matches the original paper you loaded. Often what will happen is that you'll have it set at some off size, for instance, like, you know, eight and a half by 11. So now if I have it set like that, what will happen is that my image that I so carefully sized will be fitted onto the space equivalent to eight and a half by 11. Okay, it might be even cropped a bit. Maybe, maybe not. But it'll be fitted in this size onto that large sheet of paper. You have to make sure that you have this set to same size. Okay, same as paper size. If you accidentally click on that, it's not going to be correct now. Right now it is set to output paper Super A3. So it does match it, but you could conceivably have it say legal and that would be wrong. So you have to make sure that this is clicked off. Just click that off. If you see it on, click it off and then it will automatically default itself so that the input paper size matches what the printer thinks will be the output paper size and that way your image the way you actually composed it and sized it will fit according to the preview that you may or may not have on your editing programs printer module okay be it photoshop or be it adobe lightroom or q image or for that matter any other type editing application so that's what you need to do let's go back and look at another printer the 3880 3800 3880 preferences and again we will go to that page layout tab and there it is see that i have defaulted to eight and a half by eleven i could possibly if i want to reduce my image in other words i want to reduce my image and still print it in that particular paper size i could conceivably change it to like maybe a five by seven so now a five by seven will be printed onto a letter size eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper but it's going to be on the upper left or right corner. You have to make sure that you have this unchecked. Sometimes it gets checked by accident and that's what causes that problem. Let's go ahead and try another printer, the R3000. Page layout and there it is again. See that? Letter size, same as paper size. Okay, you must have that listed there. Let's go all the way down to some of the older printers and bingo there it is again so you see this is something that's available in most of your epson printers r2000 
page layout. Boom, there it is. Same as paper size, you see that? So you must make sure that you have synchronized the input and output to match. The newest of the Epson line, sure color P800, page layout, user defined. Right now I have picked a user defined size. So it is telling me that it's going to fit that image knowing that the output paper is going to be the same size. All right, so that is it. I know input output sounds weird, but believe me, do that and you will not have any strange print size occurrences. All right, that is it. I hope you guys get that. If you have any questions whatsoever, you know where to go to ask. Just go to my comment section and ask away and I will immediately, as soon as I see it, I will answer you back. So thank you once again. Please share, subscribe and like as always. Until the next time, happy printing everyone. Bye-bye.